Okay. Well, then 1998 rolls around. Orlando Anderson uh, is, I guess, at a store across the street from a gas station. He was at Mom's Burger, a famous little spot. burger spot in Compton that was directly across the street from this car wash. Right. And right behind the, uh, the car wash was the Compton High School right there. That was the area. Right. So he's sitting there at this burger spot, and he sees some guys that owed him some money or owed uh, Keefe some money. Owed Keefe some money or owed something. Some money. You know, on a dope deal. Yeah. Some guys from Corner Pocket. Right. With Crips. He goes and confronts them. Uh, and he, he left from, from the hammer after he saw him. And he went and got Michael DeRoe, a little owl. Okay. Who was in the area over his grandma. But he brought Lil Owl back. Actually, Lil Owl was driving. Brought him back to the hamburger because he told them about these cats. And that's when they pulled to the side of the gas station and opened up on those, these two or three guys from Corner Pocket that was getting their car washed. But they were armed also. <laughs> so when uh, Orlando got to the side and he started confronting them and started shooting, they shot back. And that's when we had this interchange. Right. So this huge shootout happens between five people, I guess? At least. At least oh, five at least because two were killed. And then Orlando, you know, so three people were killed. It was a triple homicide. Okay. So uh, Tim, Tim Brennan, a.k.a. Blondie, and uh, Lad, yeah. uh, who I've interviewed before, actually showed up at the scene. Yeah, they were right behind me. Okay. And then you showed up to the scene... I showed up first. You showed up first? Yes. Okay, got it. So you show up to the scene and you see just a bloodbath in front no, of you. No, no. Let's, let's, let me show you where I, I got involved. Okay. I was on the rear lot of the police department, which is nothing but a couple of blocks away from where all this happened. I was on the rear lot talking to Blondie and, and a couple of them. We heard the shots. Wow. We heard shots because it was that close. Where he got killed was probably six blocks from the police station in Compton. It was right next to Compton High. There's this car wash right there. Um, we were in the back lot of our station and we just heard a barrage of probably 30 shots go off and right just south of us. So we're all jumping in our car heading that way anyway. I jumped in my car. They jumped in their car. But as we did, the dispatcher started dispatching uh, units to roll to two gunshot victims. They said two at the time. A couple of gunshot victims at the corner at the car wash. So that's Willowbrook where we come out of the lot. I start going toward Alondra at the car wash. Well, the last street before you get to Alondra, I think it's Coco, okay? I got my bells and whistle on, uh, undercover car like it, with bells and whistle. Everybody knew it in Compton because I had it for a couple of years. But as I was approaching to get to Alondra to make a right to go to the scene, I see this guy flagging. And subsequently... I, you know, he told me why. It was Lil Al, Michael Duro, mm -hmm. who was flagging me down because he knew it was me. And Orlando was in the passenger seat shot. Orlando's grandmother had passed away the night before. And apparently he had been drinking all night with uh, one of his best friends, uh, Michael Duro. And they went over to a place called Mom's Burgers across the street from the car wash, get something to eat. Well, he sees a guy that owes uh, from another gang in Compton, a crip set in Compton, that owes his uncle and his friend DeAndre, um, I forgot if it was five grand, 10 grand, hey, somewhere in there grand. about five grand, oh, over some uh, cocaine. Yeah. So he decides, because they've been drinking and everything else, they got a gun in the car, they're gonna go over and jam him up about the money he owes. Well, this guy's from another gang in Compton called Corner Pocket. And some of the other corner pocket gang members were there and they started coming up like, hey, what's this all about? Why are you jamming them up? And next thing you know, Orlando pulls out a gun and shoots two of the uh, corner pocket persons that are there or shoots one of them right away. And then um, another corner pocket guy starts shooting back at Orlando um, and pretty much hits him dead center. I mean, um, he wasn't alive much longer after that. Uh, uh, his partner that was in the car with Orlando um, took the gun and then started shooting back and ended up shooting another um, corner pot guy that shot Orlando. They went around the corner, crashed the car, and we were pulling up there when Orlando was 
uh, being pulled out of the car. So he had parked. Now, why, when he took off, he was heading to Willowbrook? I don't know if he was going to the hood or what, because he would have, I would have thought, would have turned around and started heading to uh, Martin Luther King Hospital. But anyway, I jump out. I knew it was Al. Been knowing him since he was a baby. And he's saying, Reggie, Reggie, you know, they shot Lane. He said, they shot Lane, though. So I knew I had gunshot victims <laughs> over there two blocks. Knowing them, I knew they were involved. So I automatically I just right quickly hooked the row up, kept him in my arm, you know, and walked him around to the door where Lando was hanging out. I then set him down and looked at Orlando, and in my opinion, I thought he was dead, really, in my opinion. But I didn't take no pulse to deal. Paramedics were rolling. So I made it set uh, uh, Michael down and told him, I'll be to the station to talk to you. you go, we're going to take care of him. I'm going to the scene. There's a gunshot victim around there. He said, okay, Red, okay. He didn't say anything. He just said, I ain't talking to nobody but you. <laughs> you know, I said, okay, no problem. So I think uh, Blondie and, and they were there. But I told them, I'm cold for a go. go I, I needed them at the scene. But two of my other guys stayed there with me, Richardson and them. And so subsequently, the uh, paramedics came and they took him to the hospital, uh, Lando, and he was pronounced. 